Welcome to the Peachtree Podcast. Peachtree Learning Center is a nonprofit in Middle Tennessee dedicated to training and discipling students in all the fine arts to become excellent and skilled in order to spread the kingdom of God into the world of the arts. On this podcast, we will discuss topics designed to encourage, uplift, educate, and equip people to proclaim the kingdom more deeply in their own families and communities. Hello and welcome to our new episode of Peach Trees Podcast. We have had a very hot and productive summer. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, some big developments that have happened for Peach Tree just over the summer. We had no idea these things were coming, and I wanted to document this for our community of listeners and families uh, so you can be encouraged in your walk with the Lord to know that when you pray, He is in your prayers and He occupies the space you give Him to occupy. I wanted to encourage you with a story of uh, faithfully seeking the Lord and then watching Him move in mighty ways and on your behalf. And so as Peachtree, as our board has been seeking the Lord's face over the last year, we have in separate ways and also corporately come to pray that He expands our borders and expands our territory. And that has been a function of the growth we've seen at Peachtree and the way He has brought new families and new people into our doors over the last couple of years in a mighty way. And it's been humbling because we do not seek that growth in any gratuitous way. We really pray every year that He just brings us the people that He wants to be there. And He brings us the teachers and the classes that match those needs. And so we watch Him faithfully do that year after year, and it's been beautiful. But this year, uh, we specifically started praying for him to help us expand in ways that he wanted us to expand. And we've uh, sought ways to expand here in our Cookville location, which are also still on the table. They are still a reality, I believe, to come shortly. But uh, the opportunity he brought us first, uh, we felt like he put that expansion project on hold and said, actually, I want you to explore this other option. And part of the DNA of Peachtree all along has been Uh, looking for ways to spread the borders of his kingdom. And we've explored options for missional type trips. We've explored options for teachers and uh, students to pair up and go forth and take the seeds that have been planted in us for excellence and truth and beauty and light and salt out into the world in uh, foreign countries, in other states. We've looked at lots of different options and What came to us this summer was the option to purchase a very old church building, which is familiar territory to us because we exist in a very old church building. He has brought us another church building to look at, and it's in a town close to Cookville. It's in Sparta, Tennessee, and it's a 94-year-old church building with its beautiful, beautiful architecture and its quirks. Uh, Electricity was retroactively applied to the building, centrally located heat and air came Later in the church history, uh, there are very few bathrooms, all those things that accompany 95-year-old structures, but it is beautiful, it is stable, it is um, fully functional, and it's uh, for us, it's a godsend because it will allow us to um, purchase a huge amount of space for really a lot cheaper uh, price per square foot than we could build at this moment in time in Cookville. And it also allows us to serve a whole fresh population of people, but at a minimum of discomfort because most of our teachers live within a 20 mile radius of Sparta. So it's been an amazing shift of priorities this summer to instead of continue to explore building onto our building in Cookville or somehow adding to that space to shift and purchase an entirely new space, um, cheaper and be able to serve a whole new population of people with what we do. So we are humbled by this gift and also terribly excited about what it can mean for more people uh, to understand what we do at Peachtree and to benefit from the the blessed faculty that he's brought us. Um, we will have basically the same population of teachers copying and doing what they do in Cookville again in Sparta on different days. So the schedule will look very different because the people that teach these classes in Cookville will be coming to Sparta and doing many of the same classes on different days. But we also have some new offerings that are going to be uh, unique to Sparta. We have a couple new teachers that will be doing classes here that we won't have on the schedule in Cookville. And it'll be interesting to see who is drawn to coming to those classes in Sparta. We do believe it'll have its own personality since it has its own population of people. Um, We're very excited to see what he does. And it it has, in a way, felt like we're giving birth this summer to something fresh, but with the same DNA as our first first, uh, place. And so it's it's been beautiful to watch and kind of awe-inspiring and honestly very humbling to watch God 
bring all the threads together that he's been weaving for quite some time now. We have asked several times for fleeces to be laid out along the way because it's just been so unexpected to see him move in this particular way and then watch him do it. He's he's given us confirmation several different times on several different levels. He's spread things uh, before our feet and we've walked forward and suddenly we're looking at a second campus of Peachtree that we're able to keep in the family of our Peachtree community of teachers pretty evenly um, allowing us to staff it with people we already know and love and trust and um, and then bring alongside some other people that we also have ties to but don't currently teach at Peachtree in Cookville. Um, it's been a beautiful and humbling thing to see him move. So if you are um, in the southern part of the Upper Cumberland, uh, we're, coming, we're coming at you. We're coming at you with a whole new fresh campus in Sparta. We have a slate of classes and private lesson teachers, very... Uh, very excellent teachers lined up already for the fall semester. We are planning to start classes in Sparta a little bit later than we are in Cookville, just to allow us to give each of those campuses its own attention as it gets started. So we're starting classes in Cookville on August 14th, and we plan to start classes in Sparta just a couple of weeks later. Um, Check our website for exact exact dates. Uh, We will be announcing those soon, but um, we hope to have an open house Uh, around the time that this podcast is airing. We are planning to do that so the community can come in and see the space and see what we're going to be doing there, ask questions of our teachers. We have some intentional prayer warriors we're going to be inviting into the space to claim it for the glory of God and for His purposes forever. We uh, plan to put that kind of language on the deed that's recorded in the property Uh, in the property office here in Sparta so that everyone everywhere will know that everything we do there is for His glory and for His kingdom purpose. Uh, We plan to declare that in everything we do, just like we do in Cookville. And so uh, we're very excited to announce this news and we hope that you will follow us on Facebook, Instagram, follow us on our website, uh, get signed up for our emails. If you're in a class, you need to already be receiving those so that you'll have all the information we have to give you about this new exciting development And again, if you're in the lower part of the Upper Cumberland, you need to come check us out. Check out our website's page of uh, offerings that are specific to the Sparta location. And we hope to meet many of you uh, soon and, and become good friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. To support this podcast, please go follow us on your podcast platform of choice. And if you're interested in knowing more about the work of Peachtree, please go visit our website at peachtreelearningcenter.com for more information.